The newest line from Buddy Pole Power Products is a Power Mini 2, a standalone solar charge controller for multiple chemistries of battery with power poles on both sides of it. Let's take a look. Shut up and sit down. Ham Radio 2.0 reviews news and how-tos of things that are new in amateur radio. Good afternoon. My name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB. If this is your first time to join us here, welcome. Thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. And uh, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about it later on. So this is the brand new version of the Power Mini Solar Charge Controller from Buddy Pole. Uh, it pretty much looks like the old version. This is the old version right here. This is the new version right here. The only way you can really tell is that it says Power Mini 2 right there at the top of it. I mean, other than some internal stuff, which we're going to talk about here in a second, they physically look the same. All the colors are the same. The colors on the power poles on both ends are the same. They both have one USB port on the, if you're looking at it, it's on the, it's on the left side. One USB port on the left side, same screen, same type of usage, uh, use case in the field type thing. So let's take a look at what the screen looks like and some of the features of this cool new device. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug up the Power Mini. This is a this is a 15 amp hour bio NO battery right here. Just want to make sure I'm showing that off because it's important. We're going to talk about battery chemistry here in a minute. So this is the this is plugging in the old version, the Power Mini original. And if you see right there, it says revision 2.0.0, copyright 2018, when the device boots up. This is what it looks like on the screen, powered up. Okay, we don't have a solar charge controller in it right now. We don't have any loads on it right now. But you've got easily recognizable a battery source, a solar charge controller port rear with two, two other power poles on this side. That's the USB connector over here. And then you've got two sources, two loads here. You can put like, say, a radio and a tuner or two radios or whatever you want to do on it. So let's unplug this one. Plug in the Power Mini 2, which you can see the two right here on the top. One way to tell. And immediately when it powers on, you see it's revision 3.0.3 and the copyright is 2021. So that's another way to tell um, in case something gets uh, lost in translation or something and you don't recognize the two right there, which, you know, okay. Surely you'll be able to see the two right there. But this is a great unit. You've got uh, the same two loads on the side here, battery, USB, solar charge controller right there. But that is what the unit looks like. You can see the bottom of it doesn't have much there. And there's not much else to it other than that. I have used this on two or three activations at the time of this recording, uh, Parks on the Air, mostly. I use it during field day of 2021 in June. So I've had it for a few months, and but it hasn't been out in production yet. So they were out on the website. They were recently released at buddypool.com. At the time of this recording, they are actually sold out. But it says out of stock, not because they haven't been released yet, but because they ran out of stock. It's going to be a popular new unit, and that's really kind of to be expected. I know they're working to replenish that stock right now, so check the check back, check the link in the description below. But also keep checking back to the website for stock replenishment. The important changes to note between the original model and this new Power Mini Two model are that the USB port has been updated so that it is a 3.0 amp output now. The old one was less than that. I want to say it was like 2.1. I don't remember the exact number. And that one's no longer listed on their website, so I can't really compare to confirm. But the USB port on the new unit is 3.0 amps. It's also important to note that the Power Mini 2 has a solar charger that is designed to work with batteries with their own built-in BMS, a battery management system, such as this Bioeno that I showed you just a moment ago. It has improved polarity protection of solar input, so that if you're to plug in a fully illuminated solar panel to the charge controller, it's not going to damage the battery or the device you have it loaded to because it's got a reverse protection circuit. It also replaces the dual color front LED that you're seeing in the new Power Plus models, which is an 
the Power Plus was, it's, it's not a solar charge controller, it's more of a power distribution block. It was released after the original Power Mini, so it has an updated screen, which is including the Power Mini 2. Important to note, because a lot of the questions they get is, is this a, an, an MPPT controller? Now, I am actually doing a lot of research right now about MPPT controllers, solar charge controllers, solar panels. You're going to see a lot more solar and off-grid type videos upcoming on this channel. I'm looking forward to that. Anyone who has knowledge on that, feel free to reach out to me, jason at hamradio2.com, and let's talk about some collaborations. But it's important to note that this Power Mini 2 is not an MPPT controller, okay? So just to be clear about what it is, it'll take up to a max of 160 watt solar panel. Okay, so I had I had opportunity to test out a, a, a 300 watt solar panel a while back, plugged it into this, did not damage this, but it also did not work. Uh, the 100 watt, 150 watt from BioWindow solar panels, some of the top solar solar panels work perfectly in this device. Be a great addition to your GoPack or your POTA kit. But it is important to know that the MPPT, a generic MPPT, MPPT controller is not is designed differently than this unit is designed. First of all, this one was designed to work with multiple battery chemistries, okay? Not only including lithium iron phosphate, but also lead acid and lithium polymer. I'm not really sure what a lithium polymer is, but okay. It's designed to work with multiple battery chemistries. A generic NPPT controller usually is a little bit more limited in the chemistries it'll work for. It's also designed with power monitoring for both the battery and the solar panel. It also has a built-in solar irradiance meter, which helps with solar panel orientation. So if you're facing it this way, angling it up and down towards the sun, it helps with that. It helps to draw in more solar power and doesn't have to be as precise with the direction your solar panel is pointing towards the sun. These are features that most of your generic Solar charge controllers, including MPPT, do not have. And a lot of these MPPT controllers, including one from PowerWorks that I recently had the opportunity to test. Now, nothing in the world wrong with that controller, but it has no screen on it. So if you're not able to monitor what your solar panel and, me and charge controller are actually doing, if you're not able to actually see it like a screen, like this one has a screen on it, it tells you multiple things what's going on, how much your load is drawing, how much each load is drawing, how much your USB is drawing, how much solar panel or solar power your panel is currently pulling in, and how much is left on your battery in both voltage and amps. If you don't have that, some of these more generic MPPT controllers, they don't have a screen. So you don't really know if your panel is oriented in the correct manner. You don't really know if you're pulling in the maximum amount of solar panel if you don't have a way to monitor it. So the monitoring or the uh, the screen on the Power Mini 2, the Power Mini and the Power Mini 2, honestly, the screen adds a lot of benefits so that you can track what your radios are doing, what your USB is doing, what your batteries are doing, and everything else. So it's really important to be able to see how much your radio is draining from your battery so that you can know if you have a large enough battery and enough solar power coming in. Because if you've only got two or three amps coming in on the solar panel, but your radio is draining six amps an hour, your battery's not going to last really long, unless you have a really big battery on it. So it really depends on what you're using there. So who has one of these? Who has one of the older versions and is looking forward to upgrading? Who thinks that this is something that you might be putting in your go kit put a comment in the in the section below i would like to know what type of solar charge controller you are using right now if you're using this one great if you're using another one i would like to know what kind of solar charge controller you're using right now comment below 73 and thank you